Hello and welcome to today's video. Notice, uh, notice anything a bit different about me? As you can see by the title and by the evidence right here, I recently dip dyed my hair. I did do it myself, but I have to say that I'm not a professional hairdresser. Although I have dyed my hair multiple times in the past, I would never claim to be an expert at this. Previously I dip dyed my hair and it ended up fading to a pinky colour that you'll see in this video. But this time I wanted to use a more violent, violent? A more violet colour. <laughs> because a pastel violet or more of a lavender colour is so nice, so I'm hoping it'll fade to that. The dye that I used to achieve this colour is Indigo Night by Colour Freedom, and on the box it does kind of give a representation of what it would look like if you... It uses the term pastelized here, and basically all that means is using something to dilute the colour. Colour Freedom do sell a pastelizer, but to be honest you can just use white conditioner and add it to a pure dye to give it that lighter colour, which can be a lot easier to get and a lot cheaper. So this is the dye I used and this is how it looks now. It's really hard having all of my hair in the video, but this is basically what it looks like. First I'll show you the footage of me actually doing this to my hair and then afterwards I'll talk about how I feel about it and do a little review of the dye. So if you're interested in that, then stay tuned. Let's ignore this disaster that I'm currently calling a fringe. I decided after the last time I cut it that I would grow it out. I don't like the way it looks. So I've booked an appointment to get it cut back in. I'm sorry that I look hideous, I know. I'm wearing barely any makeup. I had to put on some foundation because my skin is so bad. But we're not here for my skin, we're here for my hair. So let's just ignore it, okay? We all look bad sometimes. I guess it's kind of cheating because I already have an outline of where I want to go, but I do want to go a bit higher than this because obviously my hair's grown since the last time I dip dyed it.
camera actually ended up cutting out filming and I didn't notice until I'd already finished doing my hair and I left it on for an hour and washed it off and by that time it was a bit too dark to film and I was too exhausted to so since filming all that footage I've washed my hair twice and I have to say it has 100% faded already I'm just gonna sit up a little bit so you can see you can see on these ends that are super dry by the way I'm fully aware they're kind of pinky and that could be how it's faded it can also be how I've applied the dye, I might not have applied it as thoroughly on those areas. So what I am planning to do is run the dye quickly through the ends again and hopefully it'll take a bit better. But I really don't think it should have faded that much. And you can see here, it's quite bluey. And that is leading me to think that this will fade more to a blue than a lavender, which really sucks because it wasn't what I was hoping for at all. But all we can do is wait and see what the future holds. Overall, I do think that the colour's quite nice. A bit disappointed in these blue bits, but that's why I dip dye, so that it'll grow out and fade, and I can just do it all over again. Even though this might seem a bit obvious because it's a hair dye, I definitely found that this stuck to things a lot more and was extremely difficult to wash out. The way that I did it, I've achieved quite a harsh line. I suppose now I just have to coordinate outfits to match my hair. Or completely ignore it and probably look like a mess. I'm saying that as if most of the things I own aren't black and just go with anything. I don't really think that there's much else to say. I hope I've got everything. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. And if you're new to my channel, hi, my name's Emma. Please hit subscribe. I think that's all I've got for today. So I'll see you in a future video. Goodbye.